The vehicle at the December 1st parade in Romania was entirely based on the Dacia Duster, a light civilian SUV built by Dacia, a subsidiary of Renault Group. The company was first established in 1966 by the Romanian Communist government to build, under license, the French Renault 8 and later the Renault 12. After the Romanian Revolution in 1989, Dacia had to start competing in a free market. Suffocated by the vastly superior foreign cars, the company was bought by Renault in September 1999. While initially focusing on super cheap sedans, such as the Dacia Supernova and Dacia Logan, in 2010, the company released the Dacia Duster at the Geneva Motor Show. Although rugged, filled with plastic, and rudimentary, it was met with appreciation in its home country and surrounding nations, with almost 70,000 units sold in 2010 alone. The name Dacia Duster had been previously used by the Romanian state to export the ARO 10 in the UK. Romania had plenty of experience with SUVs prior to the Duster. The ARO factory had built the entire automotive park of the Romanian military, but also widely used by other state agencies such as the Secretariat and Militi, and different enterprises. In the military, most were used in the way that they were built out of the factory, but some featured extra armor or even weapons. This new version of the beloved car was named the Duster Army, specifically designed under a three-year period by engineers from Renault Romania for the needs of the Romanian army, and was tested at the UMB testing range Mihai Bravo, where civilian journalists were shown a firing test and a driving test. The idea belonged to RTR, who built the car. Ram Turingia made the steel frame and UMB the remote turret. Viero Salan, head of the RTR at the time, said, with this prototype, we wanted to show what could be done. This car was virtually a technology demonstrator. He then expanded with, if the army will be interested, we can sit down and produce it. We chose working with Ram Turingia because we are talking about a vehicle built in small numbers with a special purpose, something that couldn't have been done on the regular Duster's production line. Welcome to another Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. I'm your host Wood, and today I'll be covering the Dacia Duster Army Tech Demo, the most powerful Romanian armored fighting vehicle ever made. If you like what we do, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a single video, and if you want to contribute more directly, consider Patreon or PayPal. It helps us keep the lights on. Despite the Duster looking like a Mad Max grocery gutter, it was filled with gadgets and possibilities for further upgrades. The roll cage was mounted externally for more interior space, and to support the weight of the remote-controlled weapon station. There were four attaching points to the frame of the car which allow the addition of heavy equipment like a plow. On the rear, a tow hook was attached, and to the front, a detachable worn winch was mounted. Curiously, the winch, the tires, and the four LED lights, two on each side, were some of the only imported products. The signal LED lights were imported from the US because of the international military vehicle signaling laws. In addition, there were two front-mounted masked position lights made for nighttime maneuvers. The car had a blackout system, which would switch off all external and interior lights, including the dashboard. The switch was mounted on an additional box on top of the dashboard. Also above the dashboard was a switch for the 24 volt system. The car ran on regular 12 volt, but an additional 24 volt battery had been added into the boot to suit military standards. In addition, on the left side of the boot, there was a transformer sending 220 volts for two outlets. The most peculiar part of the car was, of course, the machine gun turret. It was made at UMB with a weight of 135 kilograms, or around 300 pounds, and costs more than twice the price of the duster itself. It was controlled remotely from the inside with the use of a joystick, like a video game. An 11-inch screen was used for display. Software was installed to display how many bullets are left and show the position of friendly and enemy troops like a first-person shooter. On this pilot model, the screen was mounted above the glove box in front of the right-hand passenger, and the joystick was on a mobile metal support. The Duster did not have any sort of external armor. According to Salon, metal armor would be too heavy, but Kevlar armor could be used if desired. Yet, there were steel armor plates along the belly of the car, one in the front for the engine and gearbox, one for the gas tank, and one for the rear differential. All of these additions to the base SUV altered the Dacia Duster's driving. The 135 kg turret raised the center of gravity for the car, which could be felt in corners. The engine was a 1.5 liter diesel, making 110 horsepower and driving all four wheels. The extra equipment, excluding the turret, added 140 kilograms, or another 300 pounds, to the car, for a total of 275, or about 600. 
This could be felt, though ride quality was good, even on bumps. Driving in a straight line, the Duster Army could reach 120 kilometers per hour, or about 75 miles per hour. A year later, at the December 1st parade, the Duster Army was back. This time, two 2014 model Dacia Dusters were shown. The first was very similar to the previous, but with a new remote-controlled weapon station, equipped with a 50 cal. This was most likely an American turret. The second was a pickup mounting what seems to like a reconnaissance package and cameras. Most notable is the very unorthodox camouflage pattern. Sadly, the Dacia Duster Army was never ordered, but it strengthened relationships between companies and was a good tech demo for what could really be done with such a budget car. Another variant of the Duster Army was known as the BSDA 2016, where a Duster pickup was shown with tracks and a Dushka heavy machine gun RCWS. This vehicle was already sold and marketed by Digital BIT. In December 2020, images were leaked by Dacia Duster Trails, a fan group website allegedly showing the construction of a new special military Dacia Duster. Two versions were initially named, a troop transport variant with heavy Stanag Level 3 armor and Stanag Level 2 windows. This armor would be optional. The second version would be for reconnaissance and scouting, featuring a drone launcher carrying two attack drones capable of firing AG-7 warheads and three or four surveillance drones. Alternatively, it could be equipped with an 81mm mortar, supposedly capable of firing heat rounds up to 5.5 kilometers. This version only had two seats, would be amphibious, and had a whopping Stanag level 3 to 4 level of protection. Sadly, but obviously, this was a hoax. While never confirmed, it was clear that it was done by somebody unfamiliar with armored vehicles and military tech. The Dacia Duster, although robust as a civilian vehicle, was never meant to carry particularly heavy weights. So a duster with any level of protection, a mortar or drones or an amphibious kit or anything like that, would be impossible. The strain on the suspension, chassis, engine, and transmission would be way too large. If these components were to be upgraded, the price would be too large as well, and would not justify the conversion when you could just buy an already designed military vehicle. This video has been sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering all kinds of interesting subjects, from photography to 3D modeling, music production, and so much more. In fact, I and some of our team members are using Skillshare, and Turn is currently following a class covering Capture One by Cad Cadeau, which is really helping her master editing these pictures she took in Rome. This class is full of convenient information that you can return to listening to whenever you want to and is very intuitive and easy to understand. Now personally what makes Skillshare special for us is that it is designed to give you an effective and pressure-free experience that will help you learn and discover knowledge. Skillshare doesn't display any ads, doesn't have any additional paywalls, no bait and switches, you are free to explore absolutely everything. And if it couldn't get any better, Skillshare is running a promotion. What kind of promotion? Well, the first 1,000 subscribers that manage to click the link in the description will get one month totally free for Skillshare. Thank you for checking out Skillshare. Ads like these help us keep growing. And now, on to the video. The Dacia Duster has entered the Romanian military and has seen extensive use, not as a game-changing weapon of mass destruction or anything, but as a stock factory vehicle with occasional upgrades for transport of goods and other specific tasks that don't include weapons. The Duster, despite being light, affordable, and a great off-roader, is a car deemed underpowered by civilians. It is simply not a good platform for carrying heavy weights, thus making it impossible to add armor or close-range weapons. This concludes our look at the Duster Army. What do you think? Should the Romanian military adopt it as a sort of technical, or do you think it would be a waste of taxpayer money? If you like what we do and want to see more, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video. If you prefer a more hands-on approach, consider donating on Patreon or PayPal, or joining our channel's membership. It helps keep the lights on and allow us to improve the quality of our videos. Until next time, keep us in your sights.